We're doing Young's Modulus. Materials. Great! This is the last lesson in materials, and then we'll get to start. Electricity. Wonderful. Uh, uh, ah, it's, ah, it's great. You'll love it. You'll love it. <laughs> no. Yeah. You'll love it. Electricity and Yeah, you'll love them. Terrible. Hey, hey. All right. Well, this is Young's modulus now. If you can write that down, you'll imagine it. Somebody knows this word, deformation. I know you can call it. Uh, yes, not related. <laughs> deformation. Does anyone know this word? So, deformation means to change the shape or size. So, for example, like here, if I if I do this. We say, I deform it. Yeah, deform. So deformation comes from deform. So this is me deforming, you know, if I, I do this. So the deformation of a material is the process of changing the shape. And for us, that's usually the length. So like if you have a string, it means, you know, you change the shape, the length of it. That's deformation. And we... Wait, it means changing the shape by using a force. And we call this a stressing force. So if I deform this, it's because I have a stressing force. You understand the, the English here? No. Yeah? Yeah? So this is deformation. If I have a stressing force. Yeah, okay. So if you can write this down. There's only length, it's not about length. For us, it's just length, yeah. Continue? No. no. Well, I have some news actually. I don't know, maybe this is good news, maybe this is bad news. You can tell me. So, you know, you're. Which maths class are you in? Are you with other students? You're mixed. Mm. Yeah, who are you mixed with? Science. With science, okay. So in semester two, the science students and the engineers, they study different maths. Mm -hmm. So you will separate from them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Unfortunately, I might be your maths teacher. This, this, is, this, is, this, this is bad news for me. Why? Because <laughs> then I see too much of you. I see you for like 12 hours. Um, so I think so. I'm not sure. I think so. I think so. But that's for semester two, after the exam. So when? After the when exam. Is the exam I don't know. You know the exam and the semester one exam. And then after this, you split. Yeah, after this. Yeah. It's green. 
Uh, maybe. Maybe it is. I'm going to be so tired. So we have small class, like four people. Yeah, but you guys are hard to teach. What? No maths. Please. Okay, okay. Maybe yeah, not. Okay. Maybe not the maths. Maybe not the maths. All right. Uh, next now, um, we have the stress. So the stress on a material is the force per unit cross-sectional area. Now let me just explain that with a picture. So imagine you have um, like something like this and its length is L from here to here and then you pull it an extra delta X so it's now over here. Okay, The stress is this force Okay. Divided by the cross sectional area. That's this area. That's called the cross sectional area. So it's a little bit like what's it like? Force over area. What's this Press, like? Uh, pressure. 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 It's like pressure. So the unit is Pascal. So Pascal. The same time. Yeah. The same as pressure. Yeah? Okay, so if you can write this down, this is called the stress. Got that? So try to remember these words. Like stress and cross sectional area. You should remember. You should learn some words, you know? Continue. Therefore, clearly the units is Pascal's. Clearly. Right. Strain next. So the strain on the material. That's equal to this here divided by this. It's the extension compared to natural length. So it's x over L. Now, what's the unit of strain? Uh, percent? Mm, kind of. Not really. Kinda. It's no units. Uh, um, one third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's we say there's no units. Uh, it's unit free. Okay. Oh come on! No chat, chat. Who are you chatting to? Mm, no. Tomorrow she will go back to China. You should tell her you're in physics, though. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, sorry. Summer. Oh, tell him what? What does he want? <laughs> Summer say he he have to wait. Uh, wait till four p.m. Four p.m. Yeah. It's possible. Four p.m. Maybe when he watches this video later, he can hear us talk about him. You can see the times of the video. Um, yeah. That's usually almost the I watched. Because every day when I watch, there's the only one change, right? If I, if I click in. 
There's only one view. Yeah. 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 always options. Yeah. So do you think Summer will watch this video later? You can check on time. I can check. If there's two person right that, Yeah, you and Summer then, okay. <laughs> right, ready to continue? Oh, no. It's okay, I think. What's okay? Ah, yeah, sure, he can play with his phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Doesn't he have that game on his phone he plays? Does he play the card game? Mm, no. No, he doesn't play this game. Play TODT. I don't know this one. In, in his day, you know. Yeah, but I don't know this game. Um, shooting. shooting game. In the first. Yeah. <coughs> oh, I read shoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Funny. So recently I was attacked by uh, Switch. Mm -hmm. you know, that's oh, Switch, yeah. It's no good? It's really nice. Oh, it's nice? It's really nice. Okay. Some game on it. But it can save me. Ah, yeah. Did you write the whole thing down, please, buddy? So your aunt is going back to China tomorrow for a holiday? I think so. Just to see family. Maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For how long? Wait, wait. Uh, three weeks or nearly a month. Okay. So which means my uncle alone at home, so I need back home to see him during the weekend. Yes, okay. He's not going to China. He no, he, no. he has to work. He's working, yeah, okay. What did you say his job was? Now he's a taxi driver. Oh great, okay. But before he was working for a kind of biomedical mm -hmm. company. But his company is, uh, is closed for one year, but he's retired it? now this year. So he was a taxi driver for During this time. This yeah. Okay. Did he like it? He he had to make money, that's yeah. what he said. So I think taxi driver is a hard job. I mean, the, mostly the old people do taxi here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like um, uh, retired people who, you know, you know, retired. Yeah. yeah. He got a big one, the biggest one, like for nine people. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. All right. Good. And yeah. Same way as well. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. But okay. he always made kind of person like you know. A young people who pee on the one, like God. It's a problem, yeah. yeah. I the think it's, it's a tough job. Mm. I think it's a tough job. Especially when you have drunk people. Yeah. It's very it's difficult. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay, you have this now, Ben? Uh, yeah. Okay. So now on to Young's modulus, which is the name of the lesson. So Young's modulus is defined as the ratio of stress to strain. In other words... Uh, it's stress divided by strain. Now wait, what's the units for Young's modulus? Um, Pascal. Very good, Pascal's, yeah. Okay, so this is Young's modulus, stress over strain. What's mean modulus? So it's going to be... Yeah, good question actually, what does modulus mean? I'm not sure, it means like... Modulus. It means like a, a piece or a unit. So Young is a person? Young's a person. So it's kind of like Young's unit, okay. you know, like Young's measurement, mm -hmm. something like this. So it's going to be Pascal over X over I. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, yeah. You could say it's a uh, force over area over X over L. Someone talking to you? Yeah. <laughs> That's his ticket. Uh, 290. 290. 290? Number. Oh. That's really big, but you need waiting for the fingerprint for two hours. Two weeks, I was busy. Last time. Less than half an hour. Huh? We did hours less than, less than yeah. half an hour. I think it's the. 
Every day, I'm going to go out there. Two hours is okay. You're lucky. Before I was in Cork, I would buy renew by car ID card in Cork. I was four days. Wow. Still have the limit time only three o'clock to five o'clock. Uh, only two o'clock to five o'clock, yeah. and uh, there will be closed. Yeah. Two o'clock and when is uh, three and a half? There some officer will came out and say okay they will cut the queue. This person back to home and back to here tomorrow. That's what in Cork. Wow. I always be caught. Wow. <laughs> Once I was just I standing here and I caught from me. <laughs> it's terrible. It's terrible. Yeah, and the people. And how much do you pay for your visa? Three hundred euro every time. Every entry is one hour. One one hundred euro. It's terrible. Mm. It's really bad. I think the problem is because. Um, you're not Irish, yeah, that's so you can't uh, have any influence, do you know what I mean, any power. Mm. Um, and the problem is, the only way it would change is if the politician mm. makes them change it, you know. So. Uh, I don't know actually, I don't know, I have to check that. Uh, okay. Next word, tensile strength. Tensile strength. So this means it's the force required, so it's a force, to pull something like a rope, a wire, whatever, structural beam, to the point where it breaks. In other words, I give you a simple example. You take a material, and you pull it until it breaks. That force is called the tensile strength. Okay. It's like the force you need to break it. Okay. Obviously, this is important in engineering. Mm. You need to know this for materials. Okay. Yeah. Decision of uh, like I chose the university can be changed if I had not. Uh, I don't. I, I'm sure it can be if you contact uh, Porik or Tiago. You changed your mind. No, I'm not sure. Cause the DID is not a partner. So you can make your own independent application. But I, that is my IELTS result. I need to. You know you need an IELTS. I don't know. I'd say you should meet with someone in DIT. You might be okay with just DAP if they say so. Okay. They up to us, uh, up to them, but not up to me. So I'm yeah. not sure. I don't. You should try to meet with them. Yeah. Okay. All right. Did you write this down? So the tensile strength of a material is different for each material, right? And the only way you can measure it is if you start to pull and see how much you can break it. Now, I, I thought it was very interesting. I was watching a show um, years and years ago. Um, so one thing that's important for tensile strength is when you're building a bridge, <coughs> right? Because if you have something on the bridge, the force is equal to the weight and you want to know what is the, the limit, the tensile strength of the bridge. Now, for most materials, we know this. You know, if you make your bridge out of steel, we know the tensile strength. You make your bridge out of concrete, you know concrete, like what, what's on the ground in the city, we know the tensile strength. Interestingly, interesting in Ireland, uh, maybe, uh, uh, Gao would know this from where you live. You sometimes see these very small 
stone bridges. They're very small. They're made out of stones. You know what I'm talking about? You've seen these before? In Galway as well, yeah. These are stone bridges. Now these are very old, you know? This could be like, you know, 150 years old or something. So what they did, um, they got permission to break one of these bridges. So they put these big uh, hydraulic arms into the bridge and then they increase the force and they increase it until it breaks and then they have the tensile strength so they stick these big arms into the ground and then they start to push down okay uh, until they break and then they can calculate what the tensile strength is what's interesting is they were not able to make the force big enough to break it they couldn't they put lots and lots of force down and they couldn't actually break the stone bridge. So they said in the show, you know, this little stone bridge, it's not big. Maybe it's only like, um, how big was it? It was only like maybe 10 meters. It was you know, a small bridge. They said they had the same weight as, you know, this big, big HGV, the big ones, that it was 10 of these. It was the same force as 10 of these. Now, of course, you can't fit 10 of these on the bridge. You, you, could, you couldn't even fit one. Maybe you could fit one, okay? So obviously, these are very uh, safe. I just thought it was so interesting that they couldn't calculate the tensile strength because they couldn't actually break the bridge. Uh, so, I don't know. These are very, very, you know, these are very, very heavy. And 10 of them would be very, very heavy. So you can't... You can't break it. So it's interesting. Sometimes you might think some materials the tensile strength is low, but it's actually high. And for some materials you might think it's high, it's actually low. You know. And until you until you do an experiment, you don't know for certain. Okay. Um, all right. So that's tensile strength. So I want to have a look at the stress strain graph and comparative force extension graph. Um, how does the E relate to the K? So let's take a very simple experiment. What is K? Hooke's constant. Were you in the last class? Aha. Um, um, what do they call it? Stress, stress strain. Uh, stress, so I put stress here and I put strain here. Now, uh, you remember that strain is four, is x over length. Yeah, so if, if you have some material here and you start to pull on it, x, what happens to the strain? It gets bigger. Okay, so you get more strain. Now, what happens to the stress? The stress is the force over the area. So if you want to make this bigger, you need more force. force. So that means the stress is bigger. So what happens is you get a graph that looks like this, a straight line. You could probably have guessed that. And the slope, so the slope is the stress over the strain. And what does that equal? I think we said that's the Young's modulus, the E. So for the stress strain graph, we get it like this. You can also have the graph like this. You can put the stress here and the strain here. It depends on what you're changing, you know. So the only difference is uh, the M doesn't equal E. What will it equal? It will equal 1 over E. That's the only difference. Okay. Now I want to compare this to the graph we did yesterday of the extension and the force. You remember? So yesterday um, what we did was we looked at the extension and we looked at the force and we saw we got this graph. So you know all of these are straight line graphs. That's it there. But I'd like to know is there some relationship between K and E? Can we relate them? And the answer is we can. So this is how. 
we have Young's modulus is stress over strain, which equals force over area over x over l. Yeah? But uh, what you missed last time was the formula F equals kx. So if I put that in here, I get E equals kx over A over x over L. So these x's cancel, and I'll multiply the top and the bottom by L. So I'll get L k over A. So, or in other words, I get the formula E is equal to L over A k. So you can switch between E and k. Okay. Now what's important here is that the E is proportional to the k. So what that means is if this material has a bigger k, it also has a bigger E. And if it has a smaller k, it has a smaller E. So the meaning is very similar. Um, if something is very, very difficult to stretch, it means the K and the e, the K and the E are big. And if it's easy to stretch, they're small. Uh, so uh, sorry, I'll just put this separately here. Ooh, what am I doing? Sorry. Whoop. Okay. Uh, I think you. Let me see what have I got. Yeah, I think you should draw these graphs and. I basically, I think you should write this down. It's useful. Continue. Yep. So let's have a look at some values for E, uh, the material and the Young's modulus. So the first material is rubber. Does anyone know what that material is? Yeah, like give me uh, well no, I was just thinking think of something in your pencil case. You know, so like a no something like no no don't 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 don't. What are you doing? Dictionary? No. No. Okay, good. Rubber is you know like the um, stretchy material. If you have like um, what do you use it for? Like a rubber band. No, not this type of rubber. It's the one where you need to maybe you have some things and you you put it around them to hold them together. Oh. You know it? Uh, yeah, like this. Yeah, yeah, like this. Yeah, okay. yeah. That's that's the rubber. Now, would you say that's very stretchy? It's very stretchy. But this number is quite big. So usually Young's modulus is a big number, even if it's very stretchy. So that's rubber. Okay. So the next material, when you're ready.
You got that? Yeah? Yeah? Hmm. Next material is nylon. Do you know this material? Yeah, it's in clothes, yeah. Also in tights. I don't think you wear tights. You know tights? Tights? Mm -hmm. Is this? No, 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 no. Uh, no, 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 no. It's what, it's what women wear on their legs when they wear a dress. The black stuff. Yeah. The socks. Ah, uh, this tie stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is mostly nylon. Your clothes only is a little nylon, yeah. like 20% maybe. The nylon gives the clothes the, the, the stretchiness. Mm. That's, that's why they put it in clothes. You know, so like this... I don't know, this is probably like, maybe it's like 80% cotton, 20% nylon or something like that. Okay. Um, that doesn't look too stretchy, yeah, is it? Yeah, stretchy. yeah, yeah, probably 0% nylon. Uh, give us your hat for a second. Let's see what it says. Does it say? This one is... It's not nylon, it's something else. Wool, polyester, cotton. Yeah, no nylon. Because it's good quality hat. Uh, the nylon is quite cheap. Is that nylon easily able to change the colour if you wash it? No, I don't think so. I don't think it changes the colour so much. Because the cotton so wool would not change the colour. It full handle the cotton. I want to see if there's nylon in this. Okay. No, this is something else. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the tracksuit, actually, yeah. Where does that say go? Any nylon? <laughs> Too much info. Let's see. Too much information. Uh, 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 no, that's the same. Polyester. No mm -hmm. nylon. Yeah. yeah, polyester. I don't. I don't know. Okay. I think you might see maybe it's not those trousers. You know the trousers you wear for when you're running. Uh, yeah, maybe this is maybe this is more nylon, but you have jeans on and you're you're the same. Okay, next, uh, wood. Now, do you notice how? Well, every material is stretchy. It's just different amounts of stretchiness. So wood does stretch if you apply a force, but you would need to apply a lot of force, and if you apply too much snaps. So now we're moving into the non-stretchy materials. But like, you take this here, okay? If I put a force on this, it will a little, a little bit. It will. Okay, next. Glass. Glass is easy to break. I know, so a little force, you can change the shape a little bit. But too much force, it will break. It will break yeah. But if you apply too much heat to the glass, and the glass becomes stretched. Yeah. So you're right, uh, Khalifa. These values might change if you change the temperature. So, for example, maybe I don't know. Maybe rubber or nylon. Maybe if they're hot, they, it's a different value. Yeah. Continue. So the next one is brass. Uh, brass is what the heck is brass? That's uh, bronze and uh, what is what's brass? Bronze and copper, is it? I'm not sure. Yeah, why don't you check what brass is? Can't remember. I don't know. They're so like yellow copper. Yeah, well, just type into Google them. Um, what is brass? Made of. What is brass made of? Cotton 
What is it? Copper and zinc. Copper and zinc. Okay, copper and zinc. So Cu and uh, what's zinc? Z N. Yeah. Z. Z. Okay. Right. Next material is copper. Now, do you notice how different now this is compared to this? Metal and metal. Zero point one and one hundred seventeen. Next material, steel. Yeah. 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 Uh, do you know this one? Yeah. Yeah, where is that? The uh, for the pencil? Yeah, for the pencil, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You got that? You got that? Yeah. Right, uh, let's have a look. A boy hangs a 100 gram mass at the end of a 1.5 meter copper wire. The wire is two millimeters thick. What is the area? Okay, so he hangs here a piece of copper. Um, it's 1.5 meters and here he puts 0.1 g of force okay and uh, the wire is two millimeters thick so this way is two mm and my first question is what is the area so that's a equals pi or squared so that's equal to pi 0.001 squared. That's pi times 0 0.00001. So that's 3.14 times 10 to the minus 6 meters squared. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah. Okay, that, is that okay for part A? Is that okay? Whoa. Okay, B. What is the stress? Right, what's the formula for stress? X over L. No, it's um, force oh, over oh, area, oh. which is weight over area, which is uh, 0 0.1 G over 3.14 times 10 to the minus 6. So that's 0 0.981 over 3.14 times 10 to the minus 6. So, we can calculate that. Okay, so it's this one, 312420. So one, two, three. So I'll say that's three, one, two kilo pascals. Okay. Is that okay, Ben? Mm. I probably will ask you for the strain next. Yeah, strain. Strain is X over L. But the problem is, okay, we know the L, but we don't know the X. So we can't use that formula, but what we can use instead is Young's modulus is stress over strain. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the E for um, for for copper? One one seven, and the stress is three one two four two zero, mm -hmm. and the strain is X over one point five. So we can get the X. Uh, let's see, so 
The x will equal 312420 over that uh, times 15. Uh, yes. Two point Times 10 to the minus? I don't know. The short letter is. E That's 10 to the minus 6. Uh, so E means 10. In this calculator. So that's 2.67 micro meters. See? So you can't tell. It moves a little bit when you hang the weight on the copper. Is that okay, Ben? Uh, is it 15? No, sorry, it's 1.5, thank you. Does that change this? Did you use 15 or 1.5 here? Oh, you didn't! So it's 4. Yeah. It's 4. Yeah, so it's 4 micrometers. Yeah? Okay, D. Yeah? What? Oh, sorry, that is D. Huh? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. D's. Hmm? A with the area, B is the stress, C is the strain, and D is what the. How much X? The Y Oh, the X? The D is the X. C is the R. Or C is the ratio. No, I didn't get it. Ratio. What is the strain? We didn't get the strain, did we? Yeah, we only got long. Sorry, so it's <coughs> that that's the wrong way around. Because uh, now I can get the strain. Because now I can say strain. Oh no, I I'm so sorry. I, I skipped it. I could have used this formula up here earlier to get the strain. Because I could say strain is yes, E two. over... That's my answer. Yeah. Oh, that's what you were giving me. I'm sorry, I understand now. You were giving me the... The strain. Strain. The strain is stress over E. Uh, so what was your answer? Do you still have it on the calculator? 2.67. That, oh, thank you. 10 to the minus 6. I see. And then the D is what's the X, which we got. Okay. And now the E, what is the K? So I gave you a formula earlier to relate the K with the E, didn't I? Uh, yeah. What was it? I forget. K, K L over A, L E. L or no? L over A times K equal E. E is L over A, K. So that means K is A over L, E. We know the A, we know the L, and we know the E. The A was 3.14 times 10 to the minus 6. The L was 1.5. And the E was 117 times 10 to the 9. So um, what's that? Two four four nine two o newtons per meter. Yeah. Yeah. Continue. Uh, we, show, we, we did this already. It's possible to show that K equals EA over L, which we did. Um, are you okay? You need yeah, your pen, yeah. probably. So it's possible to show that K equals EA <laughs> over L. After all, we showed that E equals KL over A earlier. Mm -hmm. And by using this formula, we can compute the total K when two elastic materials are combined in series or parallel. Let's find those formulas. 
So this is what I mean. Last class we had a spring, and this spring let's say has a constant k1. Now imagine we stick on to it another spring, and it has a constant k2. So we make this new spring, and we want to know what is its constant. Now maybe it's k1, maybe it's k2, maybe it's k1 plus k2, maybe it's k1 plus k2 over 2. Do you know, it's not clear what it is. So we need a way to calculate it. So what I'm saying here is we can say E, okay, so E1 would be K1L over A. Oh, and I should say for both springs, they're the same size, okay? So the L and the A is the same for both. It's only the K that's different. Uh, E2 would be K2 uh, over A times L. What would be the E here? Well, the formula for E is... That's it. Stre yeah, stress and it's over strain. Stress over strain. And stress is force over area, and this is x over l. Okay, so I'm sorry, I'm getting myself a bit confused here. Yes, sorry. The E would be K1L over A plus K2L over A. So that would be K1 plus K2. Okay, it's getting very messy. Um, I think for this one, it would just be K1 plus K2. And I think you can show this with the E's. No, I'm wrong. I'm totally wrong. I'm so sorry. Let me start again. A bit of coffee first, please. Let's try this again. Okay, so we have one here and we have one here and we want to get the E. That's the stress over strain. That's force over area over X over L. Okay. Hmm. I am confused. I'm sorry, I don't remember the proof. I can't remember the proof right now. But who cares because you don't need the proof in the exam. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll just give you the results. I need to I need to read up on the proof. I've forgotten it. Uh, so, you know what will happen? When I go home and I'll be sitting on the train, and when I'm on the train, then I'll remember the proof. Good. But right now I don't. So, there's two situations. You have series and parallel. So, series means when you have the springs connected like this, to, like connect like this, and parallel means when you put the springs together like this to make a new spring. Okay? So the situation is if you add them together like this, this is called series, and this one's called uh, parallel. And when it's in series, the rule is the new k you can find using this formula 1 over k equals 1 over k1 plus 1 over k2. Do you have any spring or other? Other materials, as long as they're the same shape and size. So, like, if I had something like this and something the same shape and size, and maybe this is plastic and this is wood, and I stick them together and make a new material, I want the K of this. Um, so, series, the formula is like this. And parallel, the formula is like this. Which is kind of strange, because maybe you might think it should be the other way. 
Yeah, like where it's K1 plus K2 here. Yes. But it's not actually. If it's in series, the formula obeys this and parallel it obeys this. Okay. The proof, I don't remember. But you can trust me on this. Okay. Uh, I'll have to check the proof when I go home again. I've forgotten it. Grab that. Yeah. Yeah. I'll check the proof in a little bit. Uh, okay. Now I should tell you that this here. I've only seen this in the exam once and the only time I saw it in the exam it was this formula okay I don't think they'll ask you for this one in the exam because this is not in the formula book this is why I don't think they'll ask you for this one okay that's all for this so I'll let you try these for a couple of minutes the next lesson is quite short I think it's just the start of electricity so I'll let you try this for a few minutes yeah <coughs>